Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from TestLong. This is the WF-150 Wi-Fi enabled wireless endoscope. This is a very interesting product and would work out great for somebody that's into uh, plumbing, electrical work. You might need to uh, snake into like a wall or something like that, snap some pictures or video. Uh, we're gonna dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's uh, take a look uh, around the box here for the Teslong WF-150. Uh, you can see some of the specifications on the back here. Now the probe diameter is a lot slimmer than a lot of them. This one comes in at 3.9 millimeters. Uh, it is a 1080p resolution. Uh, and those are some of just some of the basics. We'll get into some of the other ones as we go through here. But inside the box, you're gonna get a few different things. You're gonna get a charge cable. You're gonna get the unit itself and uh, you are going to get some documentation here as well. Uh, again, the unit itself does not have a built-in screen since it's Wi-Fi enabled, so it can be hooked up to any uh, Android or iOS device, uh, a, you know, a tablet or a phone, depending on what you have with you. Now, you do get some uh, a user manual here for the WF-150, uh, and it does have... Uh, an app here for the App Store and for Google Play that you can go and get. It's called Smart Endoscope. Uh, we'll be looking at that in just a few moments. Uh, but this is a pretty well uh, laid out manual, all written in English, uh, so hold on to that. Now it does have a charge cable in here for its built-in battery. Uh, it takes about two hours or a little to charge it up. You can plug this into any uh, laptops, USB, or PCs USB, or you can use an AC to USB adapter as well uh, charge to charge this up via USB type C. Now you're gonna get about five and a half hours of total usage out of a full battery. What I like about it is it's very compact. This is gonna be something that's easy uh, to take with you if you need to go somewhere uh, and uh, no problems throwing this in a bag or a uh, backpack. Uh, on the end here, we're gonna take a look at our actual uh, probe. And again, this probe is very thin, 3.9 millimeters. You do get six LEDs that also uh, are around the lens itself. Uh, so you do have a 9.8 foot rigid cable or semi-rigid cable. So it is poseable to a certain point here, as you can see. Uh, so you get about 10 feet of cable. So that is good as well. If we take a look at the buttons uh, around here and how it's configured, they're all gonna be on one side and uh, on uh, the right hand side, you do have that USB type C input for recharging your power button. Then you have a, a dual purpose button in the middle, which is a zoom button and a brightness button. And then on the left, you do have a shutter button for taking still pictures. Okay, so let's take a look at the Smart Endoscope app here and how to get everything hooked up on my Android phone. When you first launch it, it's gonna ask you to take pictures and uh, record audio. You're gonna want to allow that. Uh, and then you can see at the top, uh, you do have a blue button for adding a device. So first we're gonna wanna turn on the test long here. So we're gonna do that. You can see on the probe that our LEDs uh, come on automatically uh, and we can adjust those later on. Uh, and then you have a, a battery indicator and you also have your Wi-Fi indicator as well. It's blinking right now because it's not set up to my phone. We're gonna do that now by pressing the plus button. You can see that the WF-150 shows up here. We're gonna to go to next step. Now they do give you some video here to tell you how to charge the device uh, and how to set the device up. Uh, but mine's already charged, so I'm gonna keep on going here. And then 
uh, you can uh, also uh, read through this as well to uh, how to turn the device on, which we've already done, and then we can hook up our Wi-Fi in the next step here. So they do give you a nice video guide to kind of guide you through the initial setup. So going into the next step here, uh, now that we've got everything going, it's going to ask me to go into my Wi-Fi settings, and this is where we will uh, go into the phone Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Wi-Fi signal that the WF-150 is transmitting uh, so that it can be connected. So it comes up in my list as Wi-Fi cam uh, underscore C58228 uh, and that's for my specific camera and then it will tell me that uh, it is connected and you'll notice on the device itself that the Wi-Fi signal has stopped blinking uh, and it'll tell me that I don't have internet and whether I just want to connect this time or uh, you know if I'm going to use it all the time then I would say always uh, and now we are set up if we hit next step again we are connected and then we can launch the app itself. So here we are uh, with the camera initialized and you can see uh, that we do have a depth of field of three to eight centimeters. Uh, so depending on how close to the subject you need to get to, uh, you can see this is a 1080p resolution here. So we've got a nice crisp clean image uh, of what we're looking at. Uh, we can also flip that image uh, with this little button down here uh, next to the gallery button. So if I need to get a different angle, I can flip it if I need to. Now hitting the button in the upper left hand corner can put me in landscape mode and also hitting the blue button here will allow me to take photos so I can save these photos directly to my gallery uh, if I would like to uh, and I can also hit the video button uh, at the top and take video as well so we're going to take a little bit of a video here and then we'll go into the gallery and show you how uh, we can play that back real quickly. Uh, we can also pinch to zoom at that point and be able to zoom in and look at our subject uh, very closely and see how the image quality looks. So let's take a look at one of the pictures here and zoom on in and you can see how clean it looks. Again, 1080p resolution on the uh, two megapixel sensor uh, on the probe itself looks great, uh, captures really uh, nice images and even video, even though it's a little bit on the shaky side, that's just Part of that is just me holding it down uh, from uh, holding the probe itself one-handed, uh, but uh, overall does a really good job uh, at snapping images and video. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to touch on is using the device's buttons. Uh, in the middle we have a uh, zoom a slash brightness button. If you short press, you're going to be adjusting your brightness on your LEDs uh, from three different brightnesses all the way to off if you do not need to have it. Uh, so you can adjust that as well. And if we long press, you're going to notice that our screen will zoom in a little bit. So this is uh, going to be how you can zoom in or adjust your screen or, uh, so that if you're trying to capture something specific and you need to kind of blow the screen up a little bit, uh, you can do that uh, with this as well. Okay, so the last button, of course, is your shutter button. So once you line up your subject, uh, you can click this button here and it will uh, take uh, quick pictures and you can see it was successfully saved there and you can just snap off a bunch of pictures on a subject without even having to reach for your phone or tablet or any device that you're connected to. Uh, so that's an awesome feature to have on this as well. Being wireless, uh, this makes a lot of sense. Uh, from a standpoint of uh, just being uh, much more portable and uh, easier to handle uh, than uh, having one with a huge screen built into it. So there you go. That's my review of the Teslong WF-150 uh, Wi-Fi enabled wireless endoscope. Again, perfect for people who are like auto mechanics or plumbers or anybody that really needs to get into tight spaces. Uh, it's got a nice slim design to it uh, in body but also in probe with that 3.9 millimeter probe that can get into tighter spaces and overall I had a great experience testing this out and it works very very well in my opinion. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review and I'll check you guys out on the next one.